well Cam Librans let's see what's coming up for you Librans so Librans you're dealing with a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn person this is a businessman whoever this man is could be your wife or a husband they're now gaining a lot of knowledge who this person is it could be a sister or a brother but this person is in a lot of problems um, an end is going to be coming up. So Librans, this is the energy of debt. The energy of debt is transition. So um, you could be getting divorced if you are married to a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn person. Whoever this person is could be a brother. They're going to be canceling or ending some sort of a business activity for this person because they recognize that this person have lied. Okay, so transition, debt is in um, your energy yes a lot of sadness is going to be coming up the eight of cups because um this could be divorce for some of you liberals who are in a relationship with a uh taurus Virgo, or a capricorn person this could be divorce or this person uh whoever this man is um that is in your life some of you this person could be walking away from you okay the three of wands hoping for some sort of a new start open for uh, seeing um, new days, new better better horizon for you. Um, this sort of a situation is coming up because a lot of you liberals is whoever this businessman is or whoever this man is that you got involved with have took you down the wrong rabbit hole. So where we're looking at, it could be for some of you, your husband, your boss, or someone who manipulates it and use you to do something that is not above water. And here it is that a lot of you um a lot of you liberals are moaning and is hoping for some sort of a um better way getting out uh, finding something new you you're dreaming for a new beginning you're dreaming for a new tomorrow and this is going to be absolutely beautiful because what is happening and transpiring is that you recognize that there needs to be some sort of a changes okay and once we understand that and we come to the understanding that um, a situation is not good and the situation has to be ended, you're going to be gaining a lot of knowledge that I need to let go. I need to make the changes come in because this is the energy of what is um, basically going to be happening between um, the timeline of uh, um, May, uh, July 23rd until um, August 22nd. So you had love for this person. You had a whole lot of love for this person, um, Librans, but you are now seeing the true color of this person. And, you know, it is kind of a situation where, wow, you know, I love this person so much, but now I'm gaining so much knowledge of who this person is. I tried to help this person to do something and now I'm in problem. So there are a lot of judgment call that is going to be coming down. A lot of information that is going to be coming out that you liberals was not aware of. Okay. And you liberals are now going to be, um, it's like as if you put your trust in um, someone and you're now recognizing um, a whole lot of successful moments is going to be there um, for you liberals because success is in your house. Um, so whatever that was happening and transpiring this uh, transition that is coming in for your Libran is good okay um this is the energy of the six of cups and the energy of the six of cups is that a lot of you Libran wants to go somewhere you want to connect with someone you are hoping to regain some sort of a friendship with someone now um it's as if you Librans are longing um to regain some sort of a relationship it's as if you miss um a group of people and it can be that there are people that you want to reconnect with but it's as if um you're longing to see these people you're longing to reconnect with these people you're longing to um be in the presence of these people because you know it is a situation where um, we're seeing the Ace of Cups, and the Ace of Cups is about a whole lot of love. And for some of you, Libra, and it could have been your father that has passed away, um, that you recognize now, oh my God, I really love my father. You know, he's not here anymore, and I'm really missing this person. So it could be that sort of a situation. But um, whatever is transpiring, this judgment call that is coming up is about 
you have to make changes and these changes needs to happen because uh, um, whatever is transpiring in the lives of you liberals you know change is not really positive but here is the energy of the Sun beside the debt in reverse alerting you liberal that whether or not you want this change have to happen okay this change have to happen and it is a situation where a lot of you it has to do with a brother um a female counterpart um, a male counterpart in your life that you had a whole lot of love for but you're recognizing that hey is this person really positive for me okay another three so number 33 th three times three so the ascendance basis is kind of awaken you liberance okay and we have here the energy of the three of pentacles and um this energy of the three of pentacles is that um a lot of you could have been depending on a taurus Virgo, or a capricorn person to financially um help you out and it is a situation where you have been in a relationship with this person and has been connected with this person for a very long time um, but this person is going to be saying, hey, I don't have it to give you. Okay, so it can be a situation like that. Now, you have the energy of the husband. And a lot of you liberals that is married to an Aries man. This man is going to be um, coming up with something that is going to be blowing you out of the water. A lot of you who are married... Um, there is going to be is as if you're going to be recognizing something about this your husband and a whole lot of financial problem that is going to be coming up the energy of the moon is here this is a lot of secrecy that is going to be released and uh, it could be secrecy of your husband it could be secrecy of your father it could be secrecy of your boss but there is this um, masculine person and this masculine energy um, th that it could be uh, your boss is going to be getting fired okay so in your house um libra there is the energy of the three of cups and the three of cups is always um a successful new changes and new beginning and here it is that a lot of you liberals are longing for something new a lot of you liberals want something new a lot of you liberals are longing to have something new and you are longing to return and reconnect uh, with friends or people that uh, was a part of your life but is no longer a part of your life um so whatever is transpiring a lot of you liberals be aware because your marriage or some sort of a relationship or network that you had with a Aries Leo or a Sagittarian man is going to um, um collapse okay this is an unexpected like breakdown um it could be a relationship could be a boss but it is something with um a Taurus River um with a your husband so it could be because judgment is there under um this energy so this could be a work situation this could be a partnership that some of you liberal have um it could be your husband a partnership or a business where and um, judgment call because a judgment call is coming down or Aries Leo or Sagittarian man, whoever this Aries Leo or Sagittarian man is, um, a judgment call is coming on for this person and a um a, like a breakdown. So if you're married to this person, whoever this person is, so um a, a tower moment is coming in for this person who is coming up as your boss or your husband. Then they're going to be recognizing a whole lot of lies about this person. This person is going to be either recognizing lies or is going to be understanding that they're, they're surrounded by a lot of jealousy, lies, and deceptiveness. So, Librans, this is a serious case of, uh, um, this is why this transition, the spirit of transition is coming in. Because this tower moment is ending a lot of dishonest play that was happening and transpiring. And this tower moment is bringing lies and deceptiveness and jealousy to an end. This tower moment where something is finally ended, there is no, there is no escape of this thing. It is an ending that is coming up that you liberals need to accept and take it and move forward. 
whatever this ending is it has to come in it has to manifest itself it is an ending that has been um over past the time so whatever is going on liberating this ending that is coming up um, if it was jealousy if it was a situation where your husband was having an affair it is all going to be coming out because I see the energy of another person okay so if they, you were in a relationship where there was three people third party relationship it is going to be showing up itself and it is going to be a release in the timeline so there is you know there has been a lot of jealousy surrounding um you liberals and this jealousy is going to come to an end so here we are where we're seeing this energy and a lot of people who are involved with the aries man um there is a lot of secrecy surrounding this aries man that you were not aware of okay um so if this man is your husband it could be your father that has been you know holding on on some sort of a secrecy which is going to be coming out and it, you know you're going to be surprised to figure out and find out what was going on surrounding um this person so this person is coming up as a boss a supervisor um this person is coming up as your husband your father um whoever this person is and whatever is going on whatever the secrets they were holding is going to be coming out and it's going to be an explosive moment um new love is coming in but this new love is going to um bring some sort of an unexpected event but this is going to be positive okay and a whole lot of you that was going through emotional roller coaster is going to finally come to an end because a whole lot of you have been looking for love but um you haven't been you know meeting the right people in the right to, um, situations so the right doors of opportunity is going to be opening up between um july 23rd and august 22nd that is going to make you stop um you know paining um pining for love but you're going to be receiving it okay so when it's up this way it's pining now you're no longer going to be pining for the love that you have been waiting for because it is going to be coming in so you know life is you know in this four weeks it's going to be very good because some of you could be on vacation and you're going to be um really um enjoying yourself basically um, for some of you, you're going to be reconnecting with friends because I see a lot of you hoping to reconnect with friends and uh, um, whatever is coming in is like a lot of you are going to be finding out that someone was in love with you. A lot of you are going to be surprised today. It's like this thing is just going to be boom, uh, hitting you. Um, it's as if you weren't looking for love and then all of a sudden, um, this person is going to be moving in your part so it's a situation where like love is just going to be coming out unexpectedly out of the blue so this love that is going to be coming in for you Libran in um, this Leo season take it because this is a love that was sent from the universe so if you notice this judgment but with this love that is coming in is as if the universe is sending this person in your life because this uh, universe recognized that you have been working on yourself opening up ready for love and this universe is just going to be sending this person in and whoever this person is is coming in with a powerful energy of love because this ace of cups in the upright is so um wonderful this ace of cups in the upright is about the universe recognize that you are ready for true love so a lot of you um you know ex you know whether or not you were you were open for this and whether or not you were aware that you were working on yourself and this love is going to be coming in and this is like this is like like extremely powerful love it's like the universe is going to be saying you have been working on yourself it is now time here this love you deserve to have this love okay so this is going to be like extremely extremely powerful so let me get the lights on so um uh libran it is you know a lot of you are having 
and gaining a lot of uh, um, new stuff uh, um, within this time period um, because uh, um, whatever that was transpiring with a lot of you it is going to be changing okay and this is going to be good so a lot of you um, get ready because you're going to be gaining knowledge gaining knowledge of who this person is um, whoever this person is you know a transition is going to be coming up between you and this person but it, 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 it is a transition that has to take place okay this transition um, was meant to take place okay and I see a lot of you are looking for a better situation in your life you you are pining you're open for something much better okay and in order to get that thing you need to let go of the jealousy okay um whatever jealousy that you're holding um is it um with a friend with a relative whoever whatever let go of this jealousy and then um you will receive the love that you have been waiting for because a lot of you are hoping um for a love of a lifetime and this will come in but if you hold on on whole habits whole pattern it's not going to be coming in okay all right let's do um a quick flame to see um what is going to be coming up we always end um the Leo season the season reading with a quick last messages for the librarians what is the last messages for the librarians all right so we see emotional sadness concerning the aries that some of you are dealing with a lot of you are looking for new ways to uh, manifest more money in your life this is in the second house in the third house i see a tower moment between you librarians and a gemini um some sort of relationship is going to come to an end in the um 12th house i see a lot of you librarians are dealing with a uh, Taurus Virgo or Capricorn man it could be a family member a brother or whoever you're this is a family member and you're recognizing the truth about this person and a, and a tower moment is coming down for this person so this person um their business could be shutting down they could um their license could be um removed that sort of a thing um you are going to be recognizing liberals that a lot of friends were jealous of you um and you you know it's a situation if you were married to an aries or aries decide to walk away from you you're going to recognize that your friends were jealous of you a lot of you are going to be gaining and recognizing there was a lot of secrecy around you around the house at the workplace um you know secrecy people held a lot of secrecy um from you and there was a lot of jealousy they're now recognizing um a lot of you liberal men a business liberal men a tower moment is coming down especially if you business liberal men had connected with a gemini a tower moment is going to be coming down for a aries man they recognize the lies and deceptiveness of an aries man a lot of you are going to be wanting to work together um or to calibrate with a scorpion i see a lot of you are looking for short term or part-time or extra work I see that is coming up that a lot of you are looking for short-term contract a lot of you are going to be gaining knowledge of a Sagittarian or a Ophiosus or a Ophiosus or a Sagittarian could be giving you and advising you of uh, what was going on and the jealousy that was happening a transition is going to be coming in a transition between you um, and your work is going to be coming in Libran this is in the house of work um, you could be fired, your boss could be fired, but a transition is coming up at the workplace. This is in the 10th house of work. Then um, we see a judgment call is going to be coming down and uh, an Aquarian is now dealing with, um, if you are dealing with an Aquarian, this Aquarian is going to be bringing down some sort of a judgment call on you, um, Librans, whatever is coming up, uh, expect to get some sort of a news from an Aquarian. It can be good or bad, but it's judgment. It's about an ending. A whole lot of you are going to be happy, like reconnecting with a Pisces. A whole lot of you were hoping um, to reconnect with a Pisces. So I see this energy where 
your librarians um, is, is if um, whoever the Pisces is and whatever is going on but this is a celebration of in the house of the house of the Pisces and a lot of you are going to be happily returning and you know renewing your relationship with a Pisces is coming out for um, but um, this is karma a lot of you are going to be happy that you end the karma that you were in so you know you could be in karma with your your marriage marriages are based on karmas people connect um and in marriages for karma so this um timeline is going to bring in new love and you no longer have to hope or mope over um finding the right person finding um the right love in your life because it is just going to be coming in unexpectedly okay a lot of you this love is just going to be coming in unexpectedly a lot of you who were like hoping to meet the love of your life this is going to be coming in unexpectedly so um librans um, in your house a lot of you librans are dealing with uh, the masculine energies and a lot of you librans are going to be um either firing an aries person whoever this aries person is a lot of you librans your marriage could be ending abruptly a lot of you librans uh, um your boss could be fired abruptly okay a lot of you librans who have a, a brother that is a, a capricorn um this person is going to be losing everything abruptly because they recognize that this person have not been honest so um it could be a situation that you liberals try to help your brother to do something and you're caught up in this so liberals um you know the, your energy of transition is that a lot of you liberals is like you have to recognize that wherever you are um it's like work things that works is going to be changing um some sort of a jealousy that was there is going to come to an end you know? okay and a lot of you are going to be getting some sort of a news from some sort of an authorian um because this is the in a, the energy of a group of people some of you are going to be getting news from a group of people that is going to be affecting your world so be aware but you know you're going to be re-meeting up with um friends and you and a pisces are really going to be having like uh, um the happiness and joy between you and a pisces is, is as if this person or this uh, situation or this karmatic situation is now over and a lot of success so in the house of karma is like a lot of you are going to be happy that a situation is now finally over um you know and a lot of happiness is going to be coming back so let's say that you are married to a pisces whoever the pisces is or you had some sort of a connection with a pisces um um a good friend or something like that this person could be um returning okay but uh, you know love is uh, is what it's all about in uh, this season for you guys it's all about love so it's going to be affecting your relationship it's going to be affecting marriages and especially liber um you liberals that is married to your aries man this person is going to be walking away um if you are married to a capricorn person this person their life is going to be um turned upside down whether it's your a brother or a family member their life is going to be turned upside down which is going to be affecting you um and uh, you know these sort of a situation is going to be happening and um a lot of people are going to be recognizing that there is a whole lot of jealousy that was coming from a leo person um towards them and uh, um you know you need to you know forgiveness is the key because a lot of you this could be a family member that had a whole lot of jealousy towards you so you have to be aware so i hope this helped you with the leo season please remember to like shares and share 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 if you want to see the extended of this reading to see what's coming up for your money use the link below and follow and you can choose one of the readings okay uh i think it's crystal one two and three i do love you guys gotta go namaste okay.